Let's discuss today's problem serialize and deserialize binary search tree. So in this problem, we have to design an algorithm to serialize and deserialize a binary search tree. And there is no restriction on how your serialization and deserialization algorithm should work. So we need to ensure that a binary search tree can be serialized to a string and this string can be deserialized to the original tree structure and the encoded string should be as compact as possible. So if you are not familiar with the serialization and deserialization term, serialization is a process of converting a data structure or object into a sequence of bits so that it can be stored in a file, memory buffer or transmitted across a network connection link to be reconstructed later in the same or another computer environment. And deserialization is reverse process where object is created from a sequence of bits. So let's see some examples. So in the first example, so in this example, given a binary search tree and we have to first serialize this binary search tree. So we have to serialize to a string and when we deserialize uh, the serialized uh, data, so we get back this binary search tree. So that's why the input and output is same. And now in the example two, uh, so this tree is empty. So uh, so definitely when we serialize it and then deserialize it back, we uh, get this empty uh, tree or you can say the null. Now let's see uh, uh, some constraints. So the first one is the number of nodes in the tree is in range from 0 to 10 to the power 4 and second the node value should be uh, between 0 to 10 to the power 4 and the input tree is guaranteed to be a binary search tree. So now this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem. Let's discuss the solution of this problem. So in this problem we have to serialize and deserialize a binary tree and we are free to choose any algorithm or approach which solves this problem efficiently. So in this example, I am going to explain how we can solve this problem using level order traversal or breadth first search. So the approach is we do the level order traversal of this binary search tree and what is level order traversal? So in level order traversal, we traverse a binary tree level by level. First, we start from the root node. So we traverse this level, then we move to the next level and visit all the nodes present at this level. And then we visit the next level. Uh, then we move to the next level and visit all the nodes present at that level. So we do the level order traversal and convert the value into a string separated by a space. And if null is encountered, then we explicitly, explicitly write a null. And why we are separating with space? Because when we deserialize it, so we know from where we have to pick the value. How do we have to split this string? So you can uh, you can devise any other approach as well. But here I have used a space to separate two values. So let's uh, see how this approach is working. So we start from the root node. So we first take this value. So let me put them in a string. Then we move to the next level. And first we take this uh, node. So we visit this node and we take its value. So we <coughs> after first value, uh, we put space and then we put two. Then again a space and we put five. Then we move to the next level and we pick this node one so space and then one and for this node the right child is null so what we do is we take space we put a space and then we write null so we write null explicitly then we visit this node and we put seven uh, we put four then space and we put seven next uh, the left and right children of this node is null so, so null and then space null similarly the left and right children of this node is null so we put two null so and for this as well the left and right children is null so we put here so <coughs> now 
we have serialized a binary source tree so we have done uh, the first process which is the serialization of binary search tree to a string now the next step is to deserialize this string back to the binary search tree and for this we have to traverse this string pick the values and reconstruct a binary search tree you can also first convert this string into an array of string and then reconstruct a binary search tree so let's first convert this string into an array of strings and once the once it's converted into an array of string we pick the values so the first value is 3 and so 3 is the root node so we take this value and make it as root so to convert a binary search tree into a string we uh, did the level order traversal so we know the value present at the first so the value present at the first index is the left child of this node so let's put them into the left and the value present at the uh, next index is the right child of a binary tree of a binary search tree similarly the next one will be the left child of this node and this null is the right so there is no right child of this node so we have null for this we take 4 4 is the left child of this node and 7 is the right child of this node and then for, uh, for this node there is no left and right child so it is null similarly for this for this in this way we can reconstruct a binary search tree from the string so this is our approach to solve this problem and now let's go through our code so uh, this code is to serialize a binary search tree into a string so here i have declared a string builder and uh, the first condition is if root is null then return this empty string else declare a queue queue which holds a value of tree node type first let's add root and then run a while loop so this while loop will run until the queue is not empty so initially we added this root value so we pull this value 3 and we check if the node is null then we append null and we continue from this step but this condition is not true so we append this value which is 3 and then we append space and then we add its left and right child so its left child is 2 and its right child is 5 so in next iteration so you can imagine a queue like this so first we added 3 in this queue and then we have pulled we have dequeued this from a queue now we have added 2 and 5 so in next iteration we pick 2 and again it is not null so we append 2 and then we append space and we take its left and right child so its left child is 1 and its right child is null so we put 1 and then we put null similarly in next iteration we pull 5 and 5 is not null so we put 5 and then we put so we append 5 and then we append space and we pick its left and right child and its left and right child is so we add its left and right child its left and right child is 4 and 7 so let me add 4 and 7 so i am writing here and then then in next iteration we pick this value 1 and uh, we pull this value so we dequeued 1 from a queue and it is also not null so we append 1 and then we append space and its left and right ch children is null so we put null in this queue and then in next iteration we pull this value null so this time this condition is true so we append null and then we append a space and from this step we continue 
so we move to next iteration similarly we pick four and this way we repeat this process until this queue is not empty and after that we return this string and this is the string we get after the serialization now let's see the code of deserialization and for deserialization uh, let me uh, rub this and now uh, let me just scroll it and here is the code so we so if if this string is empty we simply return null else we convert this string into an array of string and we take its length then we know the first value is always is always the root node so we construct a root node then we declare a queue and we add this root node in a in this queue and then we run a loop from first index uh, till it is less than length till the value of i is less than length we we have already uh, used the value present at zeroth index so we start traversing an array from first index from first onwards we know the first value of the value present at first index is the left child and the value present at the second index is the right child so if it is not null we construct the left child and we add them in a queue and we increment the value of i then if it is not null we construct a right child and then we move to the next iteration and in next iteration we pull the value from so let me draw it so that you can visualize how uh, this process is going on so here we have added three and then when we run this loop we pull this value three <clears throat> so we dequeued from a queue and then we check the value present at the first index so our string is uh, like this three two uh, five then uh, null uh, sorry one then null then uh, four and then seven and after that uh, there is six null so now when three comes so the value present at the first index is two so if it is not null we construct its left child and we increment the value of i now it goes at this index and if it is not null we construct its right child okay so also we put them in a queue so we put them in a queue so in next iteration we pull this value two so it means we get this node and the next value so i point at this index if it is not null it is the left child of this node and so there is uh, no right child of this node so it is null so we skip this value and we increment the value of i so i first goes at this index and in next iteration it goes at this index so at in next iteration we pull this value 5 and also we add add this value let me add 1 so in uh, in next iteration so in next iteration we get uh, uh, we dequeued this value 5 and for 5 we pick uh, this uh, value present at this index it is the left child of this node and then we increment the value of i which goes at this index and we it is not null so we put it at so we make it as right child so now after that all the values are null so which already uh, so it will be skipped and <coughs> we get our binary search tree from the string so this is the deserialization process so so this is how we can solve this problem using level order traversal now let's run this code and see uh, its output so let me remove the custom test case and let me run this code so i have already checked the solution and let uh, let me run it again and let me submit it so so you can also uh, try to solve this problem 
uh, using another approach and it is accepted so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video